Hey guys, it's Tim Estrell, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. I had a question about the screen. I did an Instagram video on it, and Instagram video disappeared, so I thought that was dumb. So let's do this video here so I can save it. Um, I have a pair of gloves on. These are uh, Gorilla gloves. I use them in the shop when I'm working on the pickup, whatever. And I have a Ram 12-inch infotainment screen. The question came in about how they can use the infotainment screen with the gloves. So, turn on the pickup here. There's a the screen. This is a new 12 inch. So typically they have an four inch, which is about half of this, right? And so this is the, the infotainment screen. There's a couple questions. First of all, as you're driving, is the screen distracting? Yes, you get used to it. It's kind of just how it works. Um, but it is pretty fast to flip through and the icons are pretty big. But let's start with gloves. So I have, I have the gloves on and I'll go here to mode, just kind of come, I just take me home. So I come home and this is the top card and the bottom card. And so if I were to click on the uh, icons here and kind of go through, oh, this, I, I can go full screen too, but I'm just gonna kind of click on some buttons. Sorry, it's a little hard for me to do this and um, uh, hold the camera, but we're just gonna see how it goes. So I'm closing screens and changing screens and got the phone screen and go down here to my big buttons and I have the big control screen so I can change my, um, settings on the seats and the vented seats, heated steering wheel. I have some steps, some backup camera, and a mirror dimmer. But I go through the apps and I mean, it's seems like it works pretty well. You know, the, the gloves are a little tactile. They're not, they're not smooth gloves, but they'd be pretty standard um, work gloves. So there's, you know, there's that. I can, oh, I don't turn that on, <laughs> turn that down. But uh, you know, it, it just seems like it works pretty easily. You know, go and flip through the screens. Um, Oh, there's my camera behind me. Uh, I don't know. I, so I think it's. Uh, I think that's the question answered. I think that uh, we will close. Uh, get out of that. Oh, and I did a thing on an Instagram video that I should do here as well. So when navigation comes up, this is a pinch and zoom system. So you can pinch and zoom it, and it works all right. I mean, it's not. I think my fingers maybe work a little bit better than the gloves, but I'm getting around pretty well. You know, so yeah, they're here to pick this up in about uh, 20 minutes. I just uh, had a day with it, driving back from the Red Line climb I was doing in Colorado with Breck and Breckenridge, driving some trucks off road. And I thought I'd do a video, and it seems like people want to know more about this stuff. So, and I wanted to know more. I sat out here playing with, around with it for quite a while. Um, just to just to, it's, it's just it's just a really cool screen. It's really massive though. You get used to that. And then, um, but like I said, you can go full screen with it. I did, I, I did a video, that's why I said, like I said, the video on it, or you can do the home button and you can split the two screens, the top card and the bottom card, and you can kind of, you know, customize where you want. You can move icons around. It just has a lot of functionality. So there you go. There's your question of answered. Can you use gloves on the infotainment screen? And the answer is yes. And uh, I can tell you that it is distracting um, when you're driving on the road with it. Um, it, it does take away your attention. You be driving around, and you're looking over because it's it's uh, pretty big. But you know, using New Connect for a few years now, I kind of understand the software where it, and how it works. And I feel like an evil villain now with one glove and one non-glove. Um, anyways, but you, you kind of know the system and how it works, and you're able to flip through pretty easily. And um, it's it just it's a great system. So uh, that's all the live stream I have for you today. Uh, check us out on uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Variations of Pickup Truck Talk. Actually, not variations. They're all the variations. They're the same. Pickup Truck Talk. Uh, PickupTruckTalk.com. Uh, email me, TimPickupTruckTalk.com, for questions, comments, concerns. Leave hate mail there and hate mail below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you down the road.